Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap tut full tutorial series with live examples. In today's episode, I want to touch base upon an important uh, class which is provided by Bootstrap which plays a very very important role in our Bootstrap designing of layouts and templates. It is called Container. So Container is a wrapper class which will decide uh, the positioning and the padding that has to be left uh, it's like an outer wrapper of each of your section in the page I'll talk more about that in detail along with some live uh, practical examples but for now before I get started I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me this is a this is part of the full tutorial series uh, around 29 videos are there which I'm bringing up to you so that you can learn everything about how to use Bootstrap with Angular. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So I request you to kindly subscribe and like my videos to keep encouraging and supporting me. The tutorials are good for both experienced as well as beginners. So and if you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. All right, so let, let me first explain you a little bit about containers and in the next sec, in the next part of this tutorial, I will show you the live practical. So container is nothing but like I said, it's a wrapper class which will decide uh, all the contents of that particular section will reside inside the container. Now, they, they, there are two classes that you can use. Either you can use container or you can use container fluid. So when you say container, it would give the offset of each on one side so that way it's not till the end of the browser whereas when you say container fluid it will always take 100 percent of the screen width now to sh let me show you that in in an example and demo with real-time project don't worry about how the application looks right now we are going to beautify it in just a bit all right so this is my uh, code that I'm working on and this is how we have done in it in previous uh, episodes we got our main content here we got a header we got a footer and if you look at the code you will see that we had used container so container is nothing but when you put some border around it let me put some border just to show you that right so you see some space is left right so this is because of two reasons. One, I had put margin and I had put padding. So I re I'll remove that now for you. So you see now it is center aligned, right? So you see this is center aligned with leaving some space on each side. This is called container. Now, when you say container fluid, when we say container fluid, it will occupy 100% width on your screen. So see now the difference between container and container fluid. When you say container fluid, it will not leave any gap on the left or the right side, the paddings and the margins. But here, when you say container, it would be center aligned and it would leave some gap. You see this, right? So that is the difference between, that is the main difference between container and container fluid, right? So I hope you are following with the example that I'm showing you. We are building a live example and a live project here. Uh, this is just a working copy. I'm covering every small bits and pieces, whichever is required. Make sure you're following, you're staying with me on this. In the next episode, we are going to make it jazzify it uh, by adding a neat uh, nav, a nav bar. That way the application looks much clean and better. Stay tuned and join me on the next episode where I will talk about where I'll talk about adding navbar to our application. Thank you so much. This is Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel and given a thumbs up. Thank you. See you on the next episode.